What's up guys, today we're going to be unboxing the iPhone 14 Pro here and uh, very excited about uh, this one. We also have the, uh, grab it, the black iPhone 14, the standard version and I got a lot of comparison requests so I'm going to try to put, put them out as fast as possible. I've been getting a lot um, for you guys but I'm more excited about the 14 Pro here because it seems like more of an upgrade. I have some opinions about the 14, which we'll get into uh, a little bit later. Um, but um, this is the, I think, starry black color here. And looks really good. The camera module is definitely much uh, bigger uh, this year. So let's go ahead and pull that plastic off here. Let's go ahead and boot it up. So Apple has this new punch hole, the Dynamic Island, and hopefully you guys will, you guys can see how it looks in the light. So the renders show it as one full pill, but in the light you can see they use the screen or they use the pixels to make it sort of blend in. Uh, but it is actually like two, so you can see you can see it kind of went in right there. All right, so let's go ahead and. Um, there's nothing else in the box, honestly. <laughs> uh, you don't get a SIM tool anymore. Uh, they have this new eSIM thing, which I'll tell you guys how it goes. You know, you get the Apple sticker. Um, I'm not too crazy about the eSIM stuff. Um, yes, it, it's got its pros, but it's also got its cons. I'll probably make a separate video. And then we get our cable, so, you know, it's classic unboxing experience from Apple. Basically get nothing. All right, guys, let's go ahead and unbox the iPhone 14 here let's see what we got here this is also the black color as well another tab right here and this one is the blue color I thought I got the I thought I got the black one no, I guess I said the wrong one all right that's fine okay now the iPhone 14 very minor upgrade uh, this year um, they both have the car crash detection. This has uh, slightly updated cameras. Unfortunately, we did not get the same screen as the Pro model, which kind of sucks. Um, we didn't get a high refresh rate. So I think this upgrade really unnecessary for people who have iPhone 13, iPhone 12, maybe even iPhone 11. Um, we didn't get a new chip or anything like that. Uh, but like I said, it's just a minor sort of upgrade. It's it's sort of like an A15 plus chip, so you know it's not not that big of an upgrade. But like I said, this could be a really good upgrade for anybody with an older iPhone, so iPhone 7, iPhone 8, 8 plus, um, 6s, stuff like that. This is like a night and day difference uh, if you have a much older. If you have a newer iPhone, because I've been getting that question, um, it's probably not not worth it all right so let's go ahead and focus on what's actually new here and it is this new display here so it's a very nice looking updated display they got rid of the notch that's why i was really hoping for them to get rid of the notch on the third on the uh, 14 um but maybe they will next year uh, but it does look really good it looks more modern um the punch hole kind of reminds me of the s10 5g that i i really love um, but like I said, no, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, is it as good as a single punch hole like on the S22 Ultra? Um, no, but it is what it is, right? Um, so I do want to go ahead and show you guys this dynamic, dynamic island uh, display here or the functionality here. As you can see, it expands. So it acts as like a multitasking um, sort of thing. So it can work for Spotify, YouTube Music and stuff like that. You run the clock or stuff like that then it'll go ahead and act as like a multitasking switcher, which I thought was a very clever uh, thing from Apple uh, to be able to do here. Um, also, what's new with the display is you do have the always on display functionality as well too, which is really nice, so you do have that. Um, now, there is some stuff going around about having this on being a hit to battery life, um, so that is definitely something I'm gonna be watching out for. I might actually turn it off if that is the case. Now, the display is going to now go down to one hertz, so hopefully that will help uh, with the um, with the battery life, uh, just in general when you're on stuff like a web page and stuff like that. Uh, so that will be really nice. And just watching content with the 
new display. I think it looks much better uh, than the notch. Like I said, way more updated uh, this time. So I'm really liking that. And I wonder if we have a speaker improvement on this phone. Let's go ahead and find out. Let's go ahead and see. No, not really. It still pretty much sounds like the 13 Pro. Still sounds really good though, really excellent. Speaker quality, great bass um, as well. They said the bezels are thinner on this year as well, which you can't really tell um, at all. One thing that you will be able to tell off the bat is these big cameras. Um, they definitely got bigger for sure. You probably, if you guys can see that, they are pretty big. Um, also, so let's talk about iOS. Uh, 16 in the Apple A16 chip. So you can see here are the Geekbench scores here. You get some crazy scores uh, on this phone here. These are This is a very powerful phone. I think it beats pretty much any phone in terms of uh, the benchmarks go. Uh, you have the 128 gigs and this is the 6 gig model. Uh, it goes all the way up to 1 terabyte uh, with 6 gigs as well too. And uh, one of the also new things with this phone is the not just the crash detection and the um, the SOS mode or the satellite mode. Uh, so if you're stranded, you'll be able to connect to satellite. You can do that on the uh, standard 14 as well too. But with this phone, you do now have a 48 megapixel uh, camera that you can take advantage of. I believe you have to shoot in Pro Raw to be able to take advantage of that. But it is here, and you do have an updated camera system. Uh, you also have autofocus on the uh, 14 Pro and the 14 as well too for uh, the selfie cam as well, which is really nice. So I really enjoy uh, that should be really nice. So overall, you should get some more just detailed shots. And you can see now that you have a 2x option because this wasn't here uh, before. So now you have that 2x option because of the 48 megapixels. It can just crop in uh, with that 12 megapixel, uh, I believe. And um, yeah, so far, we're going to go out and take some shots uh, with this phone. And I'll let you guys see some shots right here. Um, so far, it's looking like the cameras are pretty good. Um, like I said, I would have to use it for a little bit longer to really be able to uh, verify that. Um, but yeah, so it's nice to see that we get an updated resolution. So when you basically zoom in the shots, uh, you get to retain a little bit of detail, uh, which is always nice. Now this phone does have a 3200 milliamp battery um, on here. We also can fast charge 50% 30 uh, minutes is what Apple was claiming. You have the MagSafe and then the wireless charging on here as well too. So, like I said, if you have a 13 Pro, there's not a massive difference with this phone. Like I wouldn't rush to upgrade, right? Um, unless you really like this new display, right? If you really hated the notch like me and you really wanted uh, a new display, uh, this would be a great phone. Uh, the cameras are debatable. We'll see if the cameras are significantly better, but I highly doubt it from just what I've seen online. Um, the satellite thing and the uh, crash detection is a pretty awesome feature to have, but I don't think it's worth really upgrading uh, for that. Um, so we'll just have to see. The uh, A16 chip is just blazing fast on here as well too, but again, the 13 Pro very fast. Uh, so like, I think this will be a good upgrade again for people with older iPhones, and we'll get into that comparison. Um, I think people will really like uh, this phone if you're coming from a much older now with the third uh, I keep calling this a 13 I keep calling it a 13 because it looks exactly like the 13 feels exactly like the 13 um, the 14 here like I said not really that exciting uh, of a device here unless you're coming from like an older iPhone um, like I said new camera on the front and back uh, they didn't increase the megapixels but it is a new camera um, also the front is going to be a better camera as well too. You get autofocus for the video, which is really nice. Uh, better selfies uh, as well. Um, but like I said, it's really nothing new going on with the 14. You don't get a new chipset. You don't really get a new design. Um, battery life is probably going to be more so the same. Um, like I said, it's just a very minor upgrade. You do get that satellite and crash detection and stuff like that. But like I said, it's really not that big of an upgrade and I'll do a ton of comparisons comparing it to the other iPhones so you guys can sort of make that decision on if this is going to be worth uh, spending the money or not you know if you want to upgrade from 10s 11 etc uh, but yeah so 
I really do uh, like liking the uh, 14 Pro here. And uh, if you're coming from an older iPhone, I think you'll probably like uh, the standard 14 as well too. It just really depends. All right, so that is pretty much it, guys. Be sure to let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.